guests, students and parents, Assalamu alaikum. I would like to appreciate the organizers, parents and the children. They are performing well. Now it's time to spend and invest on the children and on the nations on the education. Developed nations normally spend 5% of GDP of their country in education, either in schools or in universities. Unfortunately, we in South Asia, being Pakistan, we are spending 2% or less than 2%. The nations are the developed nations. If we put examples, for example, the Israel, it's a very small nation, although we are not well connected or well relations with such countries. But we have to check which nation is the leading nation and what is the reason for their leadings. The one reason is that they spend time, they spend money, they spend quality time with their kids. For example, before born of the kids, in Israel, it's very common, their mothers used to do mathematics, scientific discussions, scientific literatures. So, in first three years, they normally try to inculcate the all basic mathematics and the science in their kids. Now, in their schools, they try to put all the possible efforts so their children know the most of the Nobel Prize belong to this nation. So, although there is a lot of gap in Europe, in the US, in Canada, in other countries, the schooling pay much more important role in the development of the nations. They only few percent go on in the universities, but the nation developments belong to their ethics, the behavior of the kids to be the humankind, to be entrepreneurial, to be ethical, to be the productive for the nation. So we all are sitting here <coughs> either as a parents or educationists or in any phase we are here. So I must acknowledge the efforts of LDS and all the performances are very good, perhaps excellent. And I, I hope the school and the outgoing kids from schools, they will be good leaders in, in future. So we should try to not only <clears throat> educate the children, but try to make them good leaders, good human beings. How they will be the good human beings? We need practices. We need good practices. We need ethical input in the nation. Sometimes we put examples why we are lacking in this. And if you go back 10, 20, 30 years, there were good kids, good nation. What happened? Mothers were not educated, but they were good practitioners. 
So what's the need of the day? With the education, we need practice and the performance which change your attitude, which change the learning of the kids. So if the mother will perform the efficient operation in the house, in the school, in the college, in the universities, as a teacher or any role what we have, definitely the seeing is the believing when the kids see us in the good form. So now when we talk about the mothers who are not educated, they don't have any degrees, but in the home their practices were much better than the educationists. So that's why the nation in the 60s and the 50s, if we com compare us now, so we are calling the generation gap, perhaps this generation gap is at the height at this time. So it's much more important to focus the children and kids at the home because you are sitting at the home and everybody is busy with the some type of this instrument called mobile. And the kid is with the, their own busy schedule, mother has its own and sometimes husband and wife are sitting together but they are not talking with each other. They may be doing some business or playing some games. So what happened? The quality time, <clears throat> what the kids need, required, is gone. How we can expect the coming nation will be the good nation? The previous now, I put an example what happened in the Europe. I spent four years there. There is condition either mother or the father will spend the quality time with the children. Until the age of 10, I mean up to 5-6 is must. You can't leave the kids before 14 alone. So, in good nations, now today, what's the message? Don't believe on the schools, colleges and the universities. So it's the parents, it's the mother, school and the society together who play a role for generation, for upgradation, for correction of the neighbors. So it's our responsibility to make the good nation. So it's my responsibility being, for example, father, as a teacher, as an administrator. So we should produce some SOPs so the children can learn more. If they learn more or they learn better, they will leave as a leadership. They, be, they become good leaders. They become good entrepreneurs. They become good businessmen. So, what happened in the society with us? We are unable to get anything pure in the market. We are getting mixed. We are unable to get the pure milk in the market. We are unable to get the red chilies pure and a hundred percent. And so after this mobile, kids are asking their parents are not still pure because they have mixed with the mobile for their kids. So I don't want to take much more time. So one request, so spend the time on your kids. If you take care of your kids, they will take care for you after when you will be the old one. So now this is the technology life and with the development of the technology, different references of the society are being changed. With this change, we have to change. But continuously, with, we have to keep with us our previous uh, good settings. Good thing with the society, with the Muslim society or with the family, 
ethics. So, it's, it's uh, last but not least. So, we have to work with our kids to bring up with a good society so that we, can, we will be or we may try to be a good nation. Perhaps we are far behind than the good nations. We only can do that if we will spend time on the kids. We should work together for bringing up our, our next nation, our kids. Thank you very much.